get another DJ Through Two beer review. I've been a good boy this week. I've got my workout on almost every day. Took one little day break, you know. I did my workout today also. I did my sales job. I made some money. It's time for a reward beer. And I want a reward beer of Liquid Sunshine. So you know that that means that I want a big-ass D.I.P.A. And where are we going to go to acquire said big-ass D.I.P.A.? We're going to go to Big Choice Brewing out of Broomfield, Colorado. U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And we're going to have their Hemlock I.P.A. Now, you're saying, DJ, where the hell did you acquire this beer? I got it from my good buddy Dale over at Craft Beer Central. You will check out Dale's channel. You will subscribe to Dale's channel because he's got some awesome fucking reviews on there, some hoppy-ass beers. Check out his info down here in the notes section. Anyway, what about the Hemlock IPA? It's a big-ass D-IPA that's 9.5% ABV and 104 IBUs. They're using Warrior, Centennial, what was it, Columbus, and Cascade hops up in this bad boy. So we got some real classic D-IPA hops up in here. And I've never had this beer. I don't know anything else about it besides that. So I'm going to shut my mouth. I'm going to crack open this can, get it in my snifter, and tell you what's up with the Big Choice Brewing Hemlock IPA. Ah, yeah. That's a good end of the day sound, that can cracking open that I love. Let's pour this bad boy. Ooh, it's dark. <clears throat> Reminds me of the color sort of a road, road, rodeo clown. I can't even speak tonight. I must need me a beer. Wow. Okay. Really dark DIPA. Super, super clear. It's a lovely mahogany sort of color. Like a mahogany brown, maybe with some orange and nice red and ruby hints coming through. Look at that bad boy. Not too much head to speak of. We got about a half finger of head there. Tight bubbles, a little soap sudsy at the top when I swirl it. Getting some nice quick glass lacing. Plenty of alcohol lays on this 9.5 percenter streaming down. Really nice looking beer here in my Duclaw Misery glass. And remember, <clears throat> Misery loves company. That's right. So let's get a nose on this so I can get me some Misery in my mouth and down my neck. Let's see. Nice. First thing I'm getting... <clears throat> Bit of tropical fruit, after that a good dose of pine, some herbal and grassy notes. A good bit of malt co um, component in this beer. The hops are big and there that's what's up in your face close. But after that there's a big malt bill coming in after a bit of caramel, maybe a little bit of like a coffee aroma as well. Must be the dark roasted malts that they're using in this one. Maybe a little toffee in there too. It's really nice smelling beer. It smells sort of like a barley wine <clears throat> in some ways, like a West Coast barley wine. But the hops are definitely big, bright, and vibrant. I don't know when this uh, beer was canned or, or whatever or brewed because there's no date on the can. I don't know why they've got a can. That's super easy to do. But my man Dale sent it to me, and he knows some hoppy beer. So I'm sure this bad boy is fresh because I just got it. So let's get a taste on this bad boy and tell you what's up with the hemlock in the taste category. Cheers. Whoa. Wow, that's up in your face immediately with hops, and it's citrus, and then followed by pine, and then a good bit of grassiness. There's a lot of sweetness to this beer, too. After that, I'm getting sort of a caramel, a honey, and even a bit of coffee-like bitterness aftertaste. Must be the malt bill in here. It's a little bit boozy for, for you know, DIPA nowadays. I'm really used to all the alcohol being hidden in them. This one's not bad, but it is showing up um, like more than I thought it would. Um, this tastes a little bit in some ways like like Bigfoot barley wine. It's real barley wine, like more than like DIPA. The the hops aren't as bright as I may have expected in it, but for 104 IBU beer, I would suspect that, that it would be more bitter than it is. It's pretty mellow and smooth for. 9.5%. Yeah, the alcohol is there and it's a little boozy, but it's not that bad. Only a slight warming in the chest. And as you're drinking on it more, and it's not super cold right now, um, the alcohol isn't as bad after you get a couple sips in. <clears throat> but for 104 IBU beer, it drinks a lot smoother than that. But it's quite tasty. So, um, I checked online and Rape Beer and Beer Advocate don't give this any kind of grade. Um, it's a real tasty beer. Like I said, it's not a super complex DIPA, but it is well made. I believe this is a year-round serving for these guys. If memory serves, it's been a while since I I looked about this beer when Dale told me he was going to send it to me. But really tasty nonetheless, but not a mind-blowing DIPA. I've had ones that are better than this. This is all about balance. And when I think about DIPA more, <clears throat> more these days, if I'm thinking balance, I'm thinking like Hetty Topper. Even this Gandhi bot was balanced, but it was way bigger, brighter hops. And Upslope, I think I enjoyed more. But anyways, 
since the other guys aren't grading this, I'm going to give my grade to it. I think I'm going to give it a B plus, about like a like an 87, somewhere in that range. It's a good beer. It's not a mind blower, but it is really tasty. I would drink it again, though I don't know if I'd necessarily seek it out again. But I really appreciate that you sent this to me, Dale. That's awesome. I would have never tried this without you, and I really appreciate this and you know the upslope and the other ones you sent me that's totally freaking awesome so guys till the next time i'm giving this a b plus if you've had it let me know until then like i said thanks a million for watching rate comment subscribe and do something really important for me you gotta think globally you gotta drink locally you gotta support the craft beer movement so guys like dale can send other people like me out here all the way on the east coast lovely beers like this one to give a try and let you know what we think of it so till the next time guys Thanks everybody for watching. Until then, damn, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you and a big ass. Damn.